Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens with Once Upon a Game, and someone had a question about in Combat Commander doing uh, spotting rounds with artillery requests, and it just happened to come up in the game I'm in the middle of playing right now, so I thought I'd demonstrate it. So the Americans, this is their second order. Um, the first thing you do is you pick a leader uh, who and pick a hex that that leader has line of sight, so that leader is going to activate, and I like to put a little... Uh, marker on the leader there, or the character that activates, uh, so I know I don't reuse them in the turn. So he's activated, and uh, now we're going to try to lay down smoke, because I'm trying to move these guys in to attack this building. This is uh, scenario four, I believe. Um, yeah, yeah, we're in scenario four, so. All right, so I'm going to try to hit uh, this hex right here. So I, I want to get some smoke down so that these guys can creep up. So I'm going to give it a shot here and hope the drift will do uh, what I need to do. Now I've already checked line of sight and it's clear from uh, Lieutenant Ray here. All right, and the first thing you do is we got to do a uh, spotting, uh, let's see what they call it here, it'll be official. This is the spotting uh, round. So first thing we're going to do is count the distance. One, two, three, four, five. So we need to do a draw and get a uh, die roll where you multiply the two dice together and it's higher than a five. So let's take a look here. And we draw, and oh, we got an event. We do have a four times three, so that's a 12. We had no hindrance between, so they were good there. So four times three is 12. So we did make it, but we don't resolve that yet. This is a roll, so we have to resolve an event. So let's see what happens with that first. And the event is gonna be suppressing fire. Place one enemy unit, suppress one enemy unit in the hex within both range and line of sight of a friendly machine gun. Now we're gonna play that event out, and this guy's gonna be suppressed. It's not really part of this discussion, but the net result is we got to suppress him and his weapon, so that's helpful. Excellent. Now on with the countdown. Five, and we got the hit, so there we go. Uh, now we did do a hit. We reveal the top card of the fate deck, ignore everything with the two dice, and we move the spotting around to see where it actually goes. Now, someone has called this minor drift, uh, which is not in the rules, but it does make sense. You're accurate, but you're not going to hit right where you want to be, unless you know the you know the die roll you get goes in one direction and then the opposite direction. But if we had missed completely, then the fire the shot still happened, and it's going to go in one of these six directions up to one to six uh, hexes away, so it can be really bad. Here we're going to go maybe one, two, maybe one, two, maybe one, two. We're going to go two hexes, but, you know, we'll see what happens. So this is not a roll, so any trigger that comes on this does not count. And we did get an event trigger, but it does not count. And so we're going to move four and three, and using the compass rows on the, uh, on the map, We'll see we'll go south and then southeast. So that doesn't help me actually, unfortunately. So four is the first number. We'll go four. And then from there, we go three from the current hex. So you move to one hex, then you move to the other hex. So it's always relative to the hex that you're currently in. So this is where the shot lands, which does not really help us. So what I end up doing is I'm going to randomly put uh, and draw uh, seven uh, smoke counters and put them in play. It's not really helping me though. So we've got an eight smoke here. And with that, you're not doing any kind of rolls. It's just straight up, uh, you succeeded. You got, you got a smoke bomb out there. That's a one, that's not good. That's a one. I'll leave the spotting around there, just so I remember where the center is. So I don't drift away. And there's one there. It's a 
six, and there's one there, it's also a six. So that, in a nutshell, the seven minute nutshell, is how you lay down smoke. Unfortunately, my guys are all up here, and the smoke all went over the building. So it didn't help me. Now I got one more to do in the wire. So we'll throw that in there. And that hooks, and that we got a nine. So I don't think we're gonna be able to come around the back. Anyway, that's how you do a uh, artillery request in Combat Commander Europe. Thanks for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye.